Welcome to today's video. I've been asked to do a video on my double bass. Um, somebody asked to hear what it sounded like, so here's a video for them. And um, so that it's applicable to double bassists, but also to um, other chordophone users, guitarists of you know, both bass and electric, you know, bass and, and lead to electrics, classicals, this all works for, for you. Um, same thing with, with banjo. Uh, my, my banjo students will benefit from this as well, um, and my mandolin students as well. What it's going to be on is two things. Um, the, the idea of pizzicato on um, the approach to the string and what we can do percussively, and also string placement as well. So the first thing first, uh, you've got pizzicato, uh, the Italian term to pick at. So um, normally I'd be playing my double bass with my bow using a technique called arco, but if I wanted to play with my fingers, there's two forms, well, three forms of pizzicato. Two forms are used in orchestra, so we've got standard pizzicato, where I'm pick picking away from the instrument. It's soft, Something else which is used within the orchestral, uh, the orchestral life is Bartok pizzicato, um, where you're picking in the same way, but this time you're snapping away from the instrument. As you snap away from the instrument, it catches on the string, uh, sorry, the string catches on the, the fingerboard, and as it slaps back, then you get a percussive tone. Uh, so jazz musicians use an element of this. Different tone coming out there, different overtones coming out, and the same percussive tone coming out as the string hits the fingerboard. Pressing down on the string, Orchestral, Bartok, and Jazz. Now what I've got here, um, which you can see to an element on the camera, is the length of the string. The closer into the, um, the note here that I play, and this is the uh, I use this all the time in guitar, I use this in, in you know, bass guitar as well, um, and obviously you know, ukuleles and, um, and mandolins. When you play over the fingerboard, then you get that soft tone as the overtones are brought in. If I play further down, Is. I can hear the difference in tone there. So I suggest you give that a try, whether you're a double bassist or uh, you're a chordophone player of some sort, then um, give that a try. Play with your hand closer to the bridge um, and, and, and closer into your, your left hand over the fingerboard or the fretboard. Um, I just want to finish the video by saying a couple of different things that I've been thinking about recently. Subscribe obviously, um, because that lets me know not that I've reached a number of pupils, you know, uh, th not that I've reached a number, it's not the number that's important. Yay, I've reached 100 subscribers or whatever. Yay, I've reached 100 subscribers. It's the reach. I'm a teacher. 
I want to reach people with my teaching. So subscribe to this, share it with people so that if you've enjoyed the teaching of this, so that it reaches more people. I'll see you in next, next week's video. Bye for now.